Hello folks, my name is Mark and this is Why I Hate the World. How are you guys doing? This is a reaction to the first presidential debate, which uh, was on last night. <laughs> and holy fucking shit, that debate was insane. <laughs> Alright, um, usually presidential debates are boring as hell and you know, you ultimately don't really learn anything about what the candidates want or what they're going to do or whatever. This last debate was like, it's like this election, it's a farce. <laughs> okay, so um, I think uh, it's pretty obvious that Hillary, you know, just kind of ran circles around Donald Trump and she did it in a very kind of subtle way. Like, she basically just let him talk himself into a hole you know, and uh, he just, you know, he, he fought, you know, this is what works. She didn't out debate him. He out debated himself because he, he just wouldn't shut the fuck up. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I'm the only one getting the sense that, that of that. He, he just constantly would interrupt her, constantly, 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 would just talk over her. Like, like, um, when it first started, like, he, um, interrupted her something like 25 times in the first 26 minutes, something like that, like once per minute, it was a joke. And he just wouldn't shut the fuck up, you know, he wouldn't shut up. And he just kept like talking and talking and talking about like, you know, shit that no one even asked him about. And it was just like, like more than once, the, the uh, moderator would try to ask him a question and he would just be talking about something else completely fucking different. And I think more than once, like the, the moderator just gave up and said, fine, we, we won't ask you that question. You know, you already took your turn, right? And there was even a line in there where, where Hillary one time um, said, well, there you go. <laughs> you, you know, you just heard it, folks, because, like, you just fucking wouldn't shut up. And he just, and just kept blurting out this, like, ridiculous word salad bullshit. And the thing about it is that it was all the same shit over and over again. Make America great again, and blah, 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 blah. And we're gonna, you know, people, you know, any, which, which is always say very, very bigly and shit like that. And it, it didn't make any sense. It was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Now, I don't think that he completely tanked it. Um, the first, like, 15 minutes, he was uh, grilling her on um, trade deals. And I think that was his best moment there. You know, and if you basically only watch the first 10 minutes, you might think that he actually won the debate, you know, because he was like nailing her on the emails and nailing her on, uh, you know, the fucking um, trade trade deals and the TPP and shit like that. Right. And it was just but it was still once again, it was it was like him just yelling, yelling, yelling. And then she would try to talk and then he would yell more. And then, no, you didn't, no, you didn't, you know, and like, and she would go, well, the TPP, I at one time supported, and then, like, no, you didn't, you said it was the best, you said it was a gold standard, all this other shit. And he just wouldn't shut the fuck up, and I think that was his major problem. He came off like a whiny bitch, you know. He came off like a child, and, and she looked like the adult in the room, because, you know, at no time did she try to interrupt him, you know. I think maybe once or twice she tried to, and it didn't work, so... And in no time did she, like, you know, go over her limit, right? And I don't know why the, the fucking moderator let him get away with that shit, but it was kind of fucking ridiculous. I mean, seriously, folks, like, I don't know why the moderator allowed Trump to do this, you know? He basically, like, allowed him to just fuck himself up, you know? The moderator is there, the moderator is supposed to, like, you know, keep it on track, right? And keep you to your two minutes and keep your keep you on subject and shit like that and to stop you from you know telling blatant lies that was another thing is that nobody fact checked him nobody fact and he tried to fact check him a couple of times like when uh he said the uh you know you supported the you you're on video supporting the war in 2004 and then donald trump was like no i wouldn't no i didn't no i didn't and he finally got him to admit some shit like on howard stern like you know i have video on howard stern but then i was on sean hannity afterwards and it was like you know like, he tried to do it, but Donald Trump just fucking just talked over him. You know, talked over him and, and denied, denied, and all that other shit. And one thing I think Hillary did really well was, um, at, you know, at the beginning she emphasized that, you know, there will be real-time fact-checking on my website, <laughs> right? Um, and uh, so that was like, fucking holy shit. There, there was um, a couple of pretty good zingers in there. Um, 
one of them on the Trump side, I think his best line that he got out of it was um, later on where he said, you have a lot of experience, but it's bad experience, right? Yeah, you know, you can't deny that. Um, she has been involved in a lot of like, you know, bad decisions that, you know, lots of people may disagree with, you know, Libya, for example, I personally don't disagree with that or, uh, you know, back in the 90s, Bill Clinton was the one that um, repealed Glass-Steagall. I noticed they didn't talk about that, <laughs> right? Or, um, for example, uh, NAFTA. He did talk about NAFTA, which is funny because NAFTA was Bush's bill, if you remember, Bush first, Bush the first, and Clinton was the one who ultimately passed it after lots of negotiation. If you want to read back about that history, you know, basically NAFTA came from the Republicans, all right? So don't let anybody tell you different, even though, like, you know, Bill Clinton ultimately passed that bill. Yeah, right. It was, you know, it was in uh, negotiations for a long time, right? Um, and uh, so anyway, um, let's kind of, you know, go through a little bit, a couple of high points I saw. Trump bragged about not paying taxes. That was funny. Like, basically, Hillary said some shit like, you know, you won't release your tax returns and and uh, the ones that we do have show that you didn't pay any federal income taxes and then Trump goes, that's because I'm smart, <laughs> right? And that, you know, is an appeal to his base because his base doesn't believe that you should have to pay income taxes because, well, because half of them think it's a fucking conspiracy, <laughs> right? Um, shit, we need some more light in here. There you go. Like, yeah, that looks better. You know, like, half of them think that income taxes are a fucking conspiracy, you know, that wasn't ratified by a majority of Congress or some other bullshit, and that it's supposed to be illegal, and it's, you know, not, right? The other half are just, like, greedy-ass fucking, you know, Republican assholes who don't like taxes in general, so that's, you know, that was an appeal to his base, but if you think about it, it's like, well, this guy, you know, let's say he really is as rich as he says he is. He makes billions of dollars. He didn't pay any federal income taxes. That means that you yourself are contributing more to him, more to the nation than he is. So, you know, because there's things that in the common that we all use, you know, things like um, provided by the, the Fed, the Fed, um, you know, national defense, for example. Right. Um, you know, a lot of different services like passports and shit like that. Uh, you know, the FDA. You know, we pay we pay for these things. We take advantage of these things, and that means that Donald Trump is not. You know, even though he makes five hundred trillion times what I'll make, I'm actually contributing more to these things that he takes advantage of, and that's that's why it matters when you know you want to look at a candidate's tax returns. You want to see like what kind of person is this? Is this guy like skimping out on his fucking like responsibilities? You know. Should a person who doesn't pay taxes be allowed to be president? You know, uh, seriously. So that's that's one thing that I think she nailed him on. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, he denied that climate change, that he said that climate change was a Chinese hoax. Uh, he was lying about that. Um, he, uh, let's see, he said that he opposed Iraq war, got that one. Um, he emphasized stop and frisk. And there was, uh, you know, this is actually one um, mistake that Hillary made where she said, well, uh, you know, murder was going down in New York. Uh, and that's not necessarily true. The murder has actually increased in New York since last year. But um, she was partially correct because uh, the rate of crime went down after stop and frisk was removed. And I think that's what she was trying to say. And it just didn't really come out, you know exactly right so she wasn't right about that specific claim but overall crime since they stopped um stop and frisk in new york has actually gone down right and it actually kind of correlates <laughs> with when they stopped doing st uh, stop and frisk it's a whole other video we can get into that uh let's see uh she did call the gold tpp the gold standard and then she turned out against it um not because donald trump was against it but because bernie sanders was against it so I don't know if we should get into this video about all the different, uh, you know, truths and falsehoods that each uh, candidate said, but rest assured Donald Trump has the majority of falsehoods this time. Basically everything out of that guy's mouth is bullshit this time. Um, I think what matters more was that, you know, this debate kind of showed how he acts under pressure, right? Um, there was another line in there which I think is really telling, right? And it was about how he went to... Um, he went to Chicago, right? 
and he and he tried to get her saying that yeah you were too busy preparing to go you know instead of visiting chicago you know because there was like a or was it chicago it was like um flint maybe i think flint michigan right sorry not chicago something like that you know he said you were too busy like preparing for this you know rather than rather than to go help these people or something right um and uh she turned to the camera and said, yeah, uh, you just blame, you just criticized me for preparing for the debate. And I did prepare for the debate and I'm also preparing to be president and people in the audience like cheered, right? <laughs> Even though you weren't, you weren't supposed to applaud, like they told him not to applaud, like they burst out into applause and they made him, you know, and that I think kind of tells the difference between these two, like. He didn't prepare for this. It's pretty fucking obvious he didn't prepare for this. He basically sat around, you know, and there's, there's like articles about this, you know, reports that like, he basically sat around with his friends and tried to come up with insults, you know. And you know, that that's how he prepared for this. And she actually sat down and looked at the issues and studied up on the issues, <laughs> right? And came prepared and ultimately she fucking ran circles around his ass, you know. After the first 10, 15 minutes where she gets her footing, right and they get past the email thing and they get past the free trade she basically fucking dominates like the remainder of the debate she god stomps his ass like i think it was embarrassing to see this you know this man falter because he really you know really did not know what he was talking about he really like you get the sense from watching him just fucking blurt word salad for 45 minutes that he just has no fucking clue what he's doing right he has no interest in learning about what he's doing i mean he's had six months to prepare for this shit right uh plenty of fucking time to read up on some actual policies and to get some actual suggestions going right and he didn't do any of the work right because you know why he didn't do any of the work because he approached it like a rich man approaches things right a rich man who's gotten everything he's ever wanted his entire life and that's just by throwing money at it and that's, you know, that's what Donald Trump is. He's the kind of guy that basically his entire life has gotten everything he's ever wanted. You know, whenever he wants something, he gets it. And he even says that, you know, I want something, I get it. Yeah. His whole fucking life, he's gotten what he wanted, right? Ever since he was a fucking child. And th this is what happens to people who get, you know, who get treated like that. They turn into fucking, you know crazy people right they turn in they turn into neurotics is what they turn into like that's what he is he's a neurotic and he just he's like a self you know kind of fucking grandiose you know borderline narcissistic i don't think he has full-on narcissistic uh you know ten, uh, personality but i think he's borderline right and he acted like it in this video he acted like you know when shit didn't start going his way he started acting like a child okay that's the that's the man who's running for the Republican you know nominee. That's that's the guy who wants to be president, right? And you just got to think about like what if that wasn't Hillary Clinton there? What if that was Vladimir Putin sitting there, right? What if that was fucking um, you know Kim Jong Un sitting there, right? What if that was just you know any other world leader, you know Angela Merkel, whoever, you know just somebody that he's trying to negotiate with, right? And they're gonna do the same shit that Hillary Clinton is gonna did to him in this in this debate, and they're gonna fucking chew his ass up and eat him for breakfast, <laughs> spit him out and send him fucking packing home like a little bitch, right? That's what's gonna fucking happen if we elect this man. So I don't know. I I really you know I would be surprised if he actually follows through with the next two debates. I think he's gonna chicken out and you know come up with some bullshit excuse because this this time really was like. You know, it did not go well for him. And I think he fucking knew it. I mean, at one point, the audience was laughing at him, right? <laughs> that was not good at all. It had something to do with, like, he made some offhand remark about, you know, Hillary Clinton doesn't have the temperament to be president, and the audience fucking laughed. And that was like, yeah, things are not going well for Donald Trump. So, anyway, I think this debate was, like, you know, ridiculous. It was ridiculous because of him. Like, if it was, you know, presidential debates, like I said in the beginning, are supposed to be fucking boring. You're supposed to just be like, eh, I could skip that. Because they're essentially hour-long commercials for the, for the, uh, you know, candidate to, to, you know, say their positions and, and stuff like that. Not this one. This one was a fucking a mud fest. And all I did was throw mud at each other, and one of them, like, 
<laughs> was just I don't know, man. What it was just it was it was sad just to watch, you know, Trump fucking fail so hard. So anyway, audio folks.